everyone, I'm Vicky, welcome to my channel. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button. If you are already part of my little sub family, thank you so much. So today is just a Tesco food shop haul. Um, we did the click and collect service. Dan was kind enough to go and collect it for us. So I'm gonna go through what meals we're having this week and then show you what items we picked up from Tesco. So we're gonna have salmon with roasted vegetables, um, chicken tikka masala from the Joe Wicks book, a Mediterranean chicken with orzo, which is from a pinch and on book, and sausage and beans, which is from another Joe Wicks book, and pork chops and greens, which is also from a Joe Wicks book. So lots of Joe Wicks recipes this week. Um, so I like Joe Wicks, he does nice, quick, easy meals. They roughly take about half an hour to make. So I enjoy using his books for ideas of what to eat throughout the week. I will need to make a stop at the butchers tomorrow to pick up some pork chops and some sausages and um, a trip to the fishmongers for the salmon but I will show you what I picked up from Tesco. So starting with the healthy stuff, I've got some golden delicious apples, these are for me to take to work. I've got a bag of loose bananas, again for me to take to work. Oranges, these also go into my pack ups. Um, some peppers for the roasted veg. I've got some perfectly imperfect parsnips for the roasted veg. Some baby potatoes, a bag of carrots. I've got some cherry tomatoes, but these are huge. Those are the biggest cherry tomatoes I have ever seen. A bag of brown and red onions, um, some curly kale for one of the meals, um, I've got some mushrooms, two bags of leeks and some Brussels sprouts. Um, I've got a bag of spinach and then I've got some cannellini beans and some butter beans. Um, the Joe Wicks recipe only asks for these beans but I do find that the butter beans and the cannellini beans go really well together in a meal um, and I just wanted to help bulk it out a bit so I got them. I've got some garam masala for the tikka masala, another jar of the um, lazy garlic, um, I use this in so many meals, it is so good. This is the bag of orzo, it's like pasta and rice and it just soaks up um, whatever stock you're using and it tastes really good. Another bottle of Vimto squash, um, some squirty cream for hot chocolates. I got some ski yogurt, Caesar, raspberry and strawberry to take to work. Um, and I got some Aero milk chocolate mousse yogurts um, just to enjoy after main meals. Some double cream, I didn't need much so this is only 150ml. I've got some of the Hovis Granary wholemeal bread again and I've also got a trio of olive bloomer. I'm going to use this to dip into the camembert that I bought last week. So these are the last bits now. Um, I've got a medium sized chicken because a large one wasn't available so they substituted it for this one. Um, I've got some frozen sweet corn and I've got a triple chocolate trifle and a strawberry trifle. If you're thinking was I hungry when I did this food shop, the answer is yes, I was. I've got some Lindor chocolates um, to fill up one of the Santa jars that we've got in the living room and then the Terry's chocolate orange as always. For the dog I've got him some pedigree, chicken and vegetable, dry food and then I've got him some more of the win a lot um, with gravy. Hopefully Charlie enjoys this, he was giving the bag a good sniff when I brought it inside. Then I asked Dan to go in store to get some milk because I forgot to put that onto the shop and he came back with his six pinter as well as two bottles of wine. This is the Diablo Black and the Diablo Dark Red. Um, these are mine and Dan's favourite red wine to drink. Um, so far we haven't found one that we prefer. These are very expensive, they're £10 each um, and they have corks in the top so if the cork has gone bad then the wine has gone bad. Um, but it's a risk we like to take because we do enjoy this wine. Um, he's also picked himself up a box of the Fox's Viennese biscuit selection and then he's come back with some DVDs. We've got The Fisherman's Friend um, which we both did want to go see this in the cinema but we didn't end up making the time and then this is The Knives Out which Dan has seen the trailer for this and um, reckons it's going to be a good watch. So that is everything on today's food shop. If you've watched this till the end thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hopefully see you again soon but for now goodbye.